Hey everyone, I'm Tatiana. Welcome back. Uh, I should say welcome back to myself because it's been a while since I've created content for YouTube. Uh, but here I am and today I want to share with you five ways that financial freedom changed my life. And the reason I want to share this with you, well first of all, what is financial freedom? For those of you who maybe don't know, everyone's kind of got their own definition of it, but for me, financial freedom is uh, being able to afford the lifestyle that I desire, um, not having to work unless I want to work. So for me, this is financial freedom. And the reason that I want to create this video for you is because I think that it can maybe be helpful for some of you. I know that when I was getting started eight years ago, um, for me, having a vision of what could be was critical. The vision is what got me exactly to where I am today. Had I not had a vision for what's possible, I don't think I would have worked as hard as I did or been as resourceful or creative as I was, which all of those things were necessary to get me to where I am today. So um, knowing what's possible is amazing because it's going to help you to create the vision that you want for you. Your vision is probably very different than my vision, but there's many things that we can all relate on. And for the most part, we all want to have a sense of freedom in our lives, freedom to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, with whomever we want to do it. For me, that was extremely, extremely motivating. And so that's what inspired me to start an online business, to work my ass off to create success so that I don't have to wait until I'm, you know, retired and then experience life fully and then travel and then do all the things that I always wished I could have done when I was younger. I want to do it now in my youth. And you can too. It is possible for you. Um, there is nothing special about me or about what I did. I say this and you might because the reason is when you're sitting there and you watch the video, you might say, oh, well, she has this and she has that. But the thing is that when you say those things, they're only going to limit you. Okay, it's going to limit you because that means that you're creating a reason for you not to have this. Okay, and I'm telling you that you can create it too. You can. Um, so I want to uh, share this with you. I'm not trying to boast in any uh, sort of way. It's really just because I think it can be helpful for some of you the way it was for me in the in the beginning stages. And I also want to possibly clarify some things. I know some people, um, you know, are have been conditioned to think that being rich is a bad thing, that making money comes at the cost of others, um, that um, you know, you shouldn't have a goal to make millions of dollars. Like there's a negative association with making money. And I personally relate to that because growing up, I did not grow up in a wealthy family. Both my parents were Im immigrants. Uh, I'm very grateful to have been born in Canada. Um, I think that's for sure an advantage. Um, I got lucky in that sense. Uh, there are many people born in different countries that don't have access to the same uh, sources and resources that I do here. Um, but my parents were both immigrants and so they came here and they struggled uh, for a long time, for most of my life. And I always heard, um, you know, you want to make sure that you uh, go to school and you work really hard um, and all those things, but also that you know, rich people, like always hearing comments about rich people. And I think that it's important to consider the possibility that that which you negate, you will never have. And I know growing up, I always heard my parents kind of talking bad about people who are successful or rich, like they only got there uh, by taking other people down. Uh, and that's not really the truth, is it? Like, yes, that's a percentage of people who are successful and wealthy, that they've done it through schemes and I don't want to say wrong, but maybe not in the most conscious way. But there's also people who added tremendous value to the marketplace that we all live in. This iPhone or computer that you're watching this video on, 
was created by someone who had an idea and who used capitalism to expand and to build this incredible business that you are now benefiting from. So you're the consumer, you paid money for that, and so uh, there was an exchange of value that happened. And that's what I love about business, that's what I love about entrepreneurship, is that you can become an entrepreneur, you can, yes, make a lot of money through it, but you can also add a lot of value in doing so. And it's your choice in what approach you want to take as an entrepreneur. You can be uh, you can build a business very consciously, a business that you're proud about, a business that makes you feel good, that you feel satisfied with, or you can build a business that you kind of feel a little bit negative towards, or you don't feel like it's in alignment with your values, or maybe it's kind of sh making you shift your values, or you don't feel authentic. So it's really your choice, you have the freedom to, to play around with that. Uh, but the point being is that I want you guys to understand that you have to start to welcome success into your life and to start to welcome the money into your life. Because if you, again, negate it, you're not going to have it. Because why would you have in your life something that you hate, something that you despise? Of course, it's not going to be in your life. So it's a little bit of a shift in the mentality that needs to happen for you to start opening your mind up to new possibilities. All right, having said that, I wanna get into five ways in which financial freedom changed my life. And the first one being that, of course, I got more money. <laughs> I don't have to shop at thrift stores anymore. Um, most of my childhood and teenage years, I shopped exclusively at thrift stores, never bought anything new. And it's so nice now to go to the store and I can buy whatever I want. Uh, of course, that's a luxury. Of course, I enjoy that. Um, I also don't have to worry about just how much things cost. When I go grocery shopping, I buy all the groceries I wanna buy. I don't have to worry about the price, even though I still do because I've been conditioned for so many years when going grocery shopping with my mom. She puts the grapes away because they're too expensive. Um, so I have to kind of decondition that from myself, but it's actually sometimes a good quality to have. Uh, so yes, the money is the most obvious result of uh, earning financial freedom. Um, it feels great to have money in the bank, not just living paycheck to paycheck. It feels great to feel secure. There's a sense of security, as, as f false of an illusion as, as it may be, you do feel that way, right? And so it's a big shift to go from, um, you know, kind of, not being broke, but you know, living paycheck to paycheck, not really having savings to now, you know, having money in the bank that's, um, you know, you can, if something happens, you, you're, you're good. So that's the obvious part. But I would say that, you know, you don't even really need to earn financial freedom to, um, to, to feel those things. The most beneficial aspect of financial freedom is the time freedom that is a result of that. So, you know, how many hours do you spend working each day? If you spend eight hours a day, you know, most of us are working one quarter of our lives at our job. So that's quite a lot of time spent working and you don't have to work if you're financially free. Imagine what you can do with that time, right? So that opens you up now to a whole different life. It's kind of like going back to when you're a kid and you didn't have a job and it felt like the days were so long because you had nothing to do and you got to play with your friends uh, on your bicycles and you got to uh, you know, make, sell ice cream at the ice cream stand or whatever. You had just time to do all these random things. And when you have financial freedom, all of a sudden the world becomes your playground. Because not only do you have the money to do whatever you do, but you also have the time to do whatever you want to do, okay? And so that's a big deal, right? Because uh, now you really get to enjoy life at another level. And I would say that's been really fun for me. It also means that I can now afford to hire people to uh, clean my house if I want to, or to cook my food if I want to, right? How many hours do we spend after work going home, cleaning and cooking and doing all the household chores? Uh, it takes forever, especially for me, just a little fun fact, I'm a clean freak. So um, I have a cleaner that comes once a week, but I'm cleaning every day. Uh, she kind of does the deep cleaning, which is nice, but I still like, I have the cleaning gene, I think I've inherited it. 
Um, but anyways, that's also a great benefit for those of you who are parents. Imagine the quality time that you can spend with your family, um, you know, the things that you can teach your kids with that time, the memories that you can create. So the time for me is like the biggest motivator to have the time to live this short life how I want to live it. It's like really the ultimate aspiration I feel for most people who are starting businesses. And one of the most fun things that I'm doing now is exploring new hobbies. I'm trying painting and drawing and music and playing piano again, something I did when I was a kid. Um, I'm bicycling, I'm really working on my fitness more, taking long walks, doing more workouts. I'm also playing tennis and like just trying things, horseback riding, just like trying a bunch of new things because it's so fun to explore, to play. You know, it's like this is how you figure out what it is that you're passionate about is by trying things. But a lot of us, we get so bogged down by what we do every day, you know, the 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 minuscule things that we don't give ourselves the time or find the time to explore and try new things. Some people do, and I always am inspired by those people. There's people who will, you know, every day I see them running on the seawall, or right now I see people kayaking and stand up paddle. Like people go out and pursue their passions. I was just never one of those people because I was so focused on my work. So building a business and creating success is going to require a lot of hard work and discipline. And in my early 20s, I decided that I was willing to commit that. That with the vision I had, it was worth it. I was willing to work my ass off and make it happen no matter what. And even if I failed, which I did fail many times, not everything I did was a success, but that is how I discovered and that's how I landed on the success. Because with each failure, you know what doesn't work and you say, okay, that doesn't work. I'm gonna change my approach and I'm gonna figure out what does work and you keep trying. A lot of people, they start businesses and they quit because they failed at something, something didn't go right, something didn't go how they expected it to go and they just said, okay, that's the end of it. But listen guys, that's just the beginning. Every entrepreneur goes that. Every entrepreneur who's successful will tell you that they failed multiple times. It's just part of the journey of success. But people don't like to hear that. People you know, will agree with it, but when it comes down to it and it's in their business and they're experiencing it, uh, they don't always enjoy it. And uh, so it's just part of it. And you have to work really hard, but you know what, what is, you know, five years, like it took me probably about five years to really create success with what I was doing. And, you know, what is five years compared to the rest of my life? So yes, it was worth it to work really hard and to get resourceful and to do all that stuff for a period of five years to create um, a lifestyle that I'm excited to live every day and something that I can pass on for my family as well. So it's not easy. Um, it's simple, you know, the, the, it's not, people think that making money is really hard. And again, I think that if you believe that, then it will be really hard for you because you're going to experience things and see things uh, through the lens of your own belief system. So you have to be careful with your beliefs around success, around money, um, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm speaking firsthand. Um, but at the end of the day, like, it's not that hard to figure out. Like, for example, when it comes to uh, capitalism, e-commerce, that's where I really created my success. It's a simple formula. The formula is, hey, you know, find something that people want or fi figure out what a problem is and then you find the solution for that problem. It's pretty simple. You can s discover a problem. And listen, finding problems in existing products is the easiest thing. Every single day I find like 10 flaws in a product that, and I can think of a way to improve it. Um, that's really easy. Just observe your own life. You know, you don't have to go out searching for it. Just in your everyday life, you're using products, you're using things and they don't work the way they could work. And that's an opportunity for you. Now you just need to take action and figure out how you can create the solution for that problem. Okay, or you can take the approach of how can I add value here? What is something that people want? 
um, whether it's something for entertainment or a practical use, whatever, something that people want and how can I produce it? Like it's, it's, it's really not that complex when you uh, look at it from a bird's eye view. Yes, when you zoom in, you'll see all the details that's required to build a successful business, but all of that you can figure out. The most important part is the idea and you can have lots of ideas, just be present. Just be present in everything you do every day and you'll notice there's a million and one things that could be improved. So uh, it's not that hard to create um, a successful business or I should say it's not that complex in some sense. The process is simple. Uh, it's just a matter of implicate, um, implementation. It's just a matter of implementation. And so that's where a lot of people get stuck is in the implementation. My brother has an idea of this product that exists in Brazil. It's like a really good selling product in, you know, a food product and um, people love it, but it's only in Brazil and they don't have it here in Canada. And so he said, oh yeah, that'd be a great opportunity for me to import it from Brazil, bring it here. I know it does really well there. It sells really well there, you know, we're." people in Brazil, Brazilians are humans, we're humans, it can't be that difficult to relate the two. So I'm gonna bring that food item here and I'm sure it'll be a success as well. And so it's a good idea, but he's not doing it because he's stuck in the implementation piece of it. A part of it is because he works really hard. He, um, you know, he works very hard at his job. He's uh, worked his way up. And so now the challenge with that is now that that takes up so much of his time that he doesn't have the time, or I should say the energy at the end of his shift to work on this side hustle. But that's really where the, um, the vision comes in and the discipline. Because with the vision, if you know what you could create, you say, listen, I could be at this job, this career that I'm in for the rest of my life. And even if I work my way up to the very top level, whatever that may be, uh, what would that look like for me? Okay, what, how, what would my lifestyle look like? Sure, maybe I'll make like, uh, you know, $400,000 a year as a very high salary, but I'm gonna be working 10 times as much as I am now because you better be sure that the people at the top, they're working far more than the people who are making minimum wage. And if you don't think that's the truth, you're deluding yourself. To run a successful company, you need to put in the hours. So um, for the most part, there are exceptions. Now, you can compare that and then you can say, "Lo, I have this vision for my life. Okay, this is the vision. And in this vision, you know, I do this business and da, 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 da. And the lifestyle that I would like to create is a lifestyle in which I have financial freedom. And with financial freedom, guess what? I can do whatever I want. I can go out, stand up paddle with my wife on a Wednesday in the afternoon when it's not so busy and there's not so much traffic. You know, you, you have this vision and then you say, okay, yes, I'm gonna continue working in my job, but I wanna create this vision. Because if I continue doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to have this result and I prefer this result and I can make that change in my life. Um, it's, but, so what I'm gonna do is, yes, on my free time, I'm going to work on the side hustle. I'm gonna discipline myself that even if I don't have the energy, I'm still going to do it. Maybe it means I'm going to cut back on um, the time spent watching news when I come home after work, or the time spent watching TV, or um, the time I spend at the gym, or whatever. Whatever you have to uh, cut out, you make that sacrifice. Because a big part of getting what you want is knowing what you have to give up. And so you have to make some sacrifices, okay? And then you do it and you put in maybe like an hour or two hours every day, okay? And you're organized about it. You're disciplined about the time that you're spending in, in this work mode because you know you only have two hours every day because you're working really hard, you're exhausted. I gotta make the most out of these two hours. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna organize myself. I'm gonna learn what it is that I need to be doing in order to get the results that I wanna get. And a part of speeding or accelerating that process is learning from others, modeling others. That's why I share with you guys these courses because that's going to accelerate your success. Learn from other people who have the results that you want instead of trying to figure everything out yourself. Like sometimes 
it's the stupid thing to save a little bit of money by not investing in a course so that you can do it all yourself. Because guess what? The time that you waste doing that is more valuable than the money you save. And so take a little bit of money, invest it into your own personal growth, you know, studying what you need to study, read what you need to read, watch what you need to watch, invest in the courses you need to invest in. And that means that those two hours are going to be maximized. You're going to be able to do uh, the maximum possible in those two hours because you now know are, you're clear on what it is you need to do. This is another place that people get stuck. Clarity. They have the idea, but now they don't know exactly what steps to take. And the reason is because you don't have that certainty. And you don't have that certainty because you didn't educate yourself enough. So if you feel that way right now, go out and learn. There's free resources on YouTube, consume video content for free, or hire mentors, or invest in courses. I like courses because they're affordable for the most part, a lot more affordable than hiring an individual person and paying per hour, and you can get really valuable content. So you do that, and you do that for those two hours. And guess what happens? That you continue working, and Every day that you do this, this routine, it becomes a lot easier for you. You know, you're not as tired after your shift anymore. Your body starts to change the, the clock and then you have more energy for the two hours. And as you do this, you start making progress. And when you make progress, you start to get more motivated and it becomes easier. Okay. And then after a period of time, maybe it's a month, maybe it's three months, maybe it's six months or a year. After some time, you start to see changes. You'll see progress, incremental progress. You know, sometimes for some people, the progress is, uh, you know, goes, happens very quickly, depends on their efficiency. But for some people, you see incremental progress. And pretty soon, you start seeing results. And when you see results, again, that motivates you. That says, oh, wow, all this effort that I'm doing, it's not for nothing. It's the effort has been compounding over time and now I'm reaping. Now I'm seeing the fruits of my labor. And then when you see results, you just figure out what worked, figure out what didn't work because there's a lot of things that are not going to work along this way. There's a lot of things that aren't going to go the way you thought they were going to go, right? Um, but you're not going to give up. You're going to continue because you understand that's part of the process. The only people who fail are the ones who give up. So you continue and then you say, all right, um, now I know what's working and I'm going to go all in on what's working because you can spend a lot of time and a lot of money figuring out all of these different strategies, right? There's a million things that you can do in your business, a million and one things you can do when it comes to marketing. Um, you don't have to waste more time and money figuring out all these other things and trying to do everything at once. Just zero in on what is working for you. And then you see the success and you see the results. And then you say, you know what? I'm making so much money with my business. I can quit my job. And pretty soon you're on track to financial freedom. And you know, you might not be able to pay yourself from your business for a while. And that's why you have your job. But at some point you're able to pay yourself and more. And that's when you realize that, hey, I don't need to work my job anymore. The hours that I'm putting in my, to, in my job could be put into my business and I'll have a far greater return in my business. So that's kind of the journey and it's, you know, it, it, it is simple, but you can get caught up in the details and it's just a matter of um, perseverance. And so, um, yeah, I was just sharing that, like, those are some of the things that financial freedom can offer you. But I would say for me personally, on my personally as Tatiana, the biggest benefit, the greatest benefit has been the spiritual growth the spiritual growth and personal growth that I've been able to do because I've always been someone who's been very interested and in, just inclined towards um, personal development. And uh, it really helped me to create the business and the mindset that I needed um, to get through the early stages of being an entrepreneur. And so now I have this extra time and what do you think I'm going to do with it? I'm going to read more books. I'm going to develop myself. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to spend more time in silence. And it's allowed me to get to know who I am. And I think uh, on some level, it's one of the most powerful things. 
Um, you know, I kind of like to think of it as Maslow's hierarchy of needs and reading his book right now. And at the bottom you have the physiological needs, okay? So you have the need for health, uh, for good health, for food, and for shelter. And these are like the basic needs. And maybe you know some people who are at that level, who every day they struggle to get food on the table. Every day they struggle to make sure that they are safe. You know, if they're homeless, they don't have a guaranteed shelter. So when you're at that base level, your focus, your mind space is going to be on that, on your safety, on your survival. You don't have the time to be thinking about what is God, um, you know, what, what is happiness, how can I create more joy. You don't, like, forget about that. <laughs> I just need to focus on surviving. So that's a really hard place to be, right? That's a tough place to be. There's a percentage of people in this world who are at that place and um, it's, it's challenging. And then on top of that one, you have safety. So making sure that you're safe, uh, that you are not uh, in danger of um, dying or getting hurt. Uh, and then you have on top of that level, the sense of belonging, the need to feel like you belong or to feel like you fit in or that you're part of a community or that you're part of a group. And then on top of that, we have the needs of the esteem. Um, so this is how you feel um, about yourself and how you feel about others. And then at the top, we have self-actualization. And this is about developing uh, personal potential. And this is about um, thinking about who it is that you are, what is reality, these questions that maybe you wouldn't have had the mind space to think of earlier. And so for me, it's been such a luxury and I'm literally wake up every single day grateful for this. And that's a big piece of it too, is just being humble, being humble, humble yourself. I didn't create any of this. The success that I have, yes, I played a part in it, but there's so many things that, um, you know, that came uh, through the luck, just, you know, again, being born in Canada, being born in the day and age that I did with the access to the internet. My entire business is on the internet. If I didn't, I wasn't born in this generation, I wouldn't have had that. Um, you know, have, living in a very safe area, living in a country where I speak English and have access to bank accounts and, um, and, and being able to get a job at a very young age. I've been working since I was 12 years old. I've had over 10 jobs. Um, and being able to make money at a young age that I could save and I later invested into my business. So um, there's a lot of things that are outside of my control that I just got lucky with, okay? And there are also disadvantages that some would call disadvantages that I have. But the point is that um, I am not the sole player in this game. I am a part of it and I'm going to contribute and try and do my best um, to generate the results. But at the end of the day, the hand of God is playing a role in it. And so humbling yourself and being grateful to whatever you believe is above you, is a higher power, um, is uh, helping guide you in this world. Um, so gratitude, that's a big one. But the point is that I think for me the greatest benefit has been this privilege of being able to sit in silence for periods of time where I can just be with my thoughts. And, um, you know, they, the, it's funny though, because these things are not things that money directly buys. So anyone can do this stuff. Anyone can think about these um, existential questions. Um, but the thing is, most of us don't do it until we have had these basic needs met. Um, and that's the beauty of it is that the most amazing things in life money can't buy. So I've been talking a lot. <laughs> um, I hope that this makes sense and I just want to share it with you guys because I think it's, you know, for me it's, it's so motivating to be able to really um, live this life in a way that I desire, in a way that I create, kind of like the artist of my life, the architect of my life. And I feel very blessed for it. And I want to share with you guys the path that got me here because it might not be that different from you. It, it may be, but in the grand scheme of things, um, it's, you know, it's nothing unique that you can't create. 
Um, you know, even to the type of business that I had, it's like anyone can do it. You know, it's never been easier to create success uh, in the history of mankind. You have it easier than your parents did, than your grandparents did, than your great grandparents did. Um, you have access to things that used to cost thousands of dollars, um, educational materials on YouTube that are 100% free. You know, that's so cool and you have to be grateful for that because if you're not grateful for this, you know, what are you grateful for? Um, and so it's, it's pretty amazing. Like the cost of starting a business now is exponentially less than it was um, 50 years ago, even 20 years ago. So there are no more excuses. And the people, honestly, there are many people in life, the, a lot of the most successful ones, they were the ones who had the most excuses to choose from. But instead of using those excuses as excuses, they used those challenges to light a fire under them, to help them to have the motivation that's required to go through all of the crap that you'll go through when you're trying to figure out what works. And so um, that's why they're such inspiration. They're not inspirational because they had everything handed to them on a silver spoon. They're inspirational because they rose out of the ashes like a phoenix. They, they, they were burdened and they had challenges and they had obstacles that most people just would think are too many. And they faced those obstacles and they figured out a way to persevere through them. That's inspiring. And so if that's your story, if you are in a difficult situation, like I acknowledge that and, um, and, under, and just know that you're not alone. There are a lot of people in those situations, but it's really up to you to decide what are you going to do with it. So just before I wrap up this video, I know it's been really long, guys, I'm sorry, but I just wanna share with you um, this guy, Jackson. Um, I met him many years ago in Kenya he lives in Kenya from a very small town, very poor people. Like, you know, Stefan and I went there to help inaugurate a school that we contributed to. And it's just always so humbling to go to these little villages and see how people live. Um, and I honestly can't recommend it enough. We've done many of these trips in the past. And honestly, it's just, it's one of the most life changing things. So put that on your bucket list. Um, but we went there and, and so we, during that time we had the opportunity to teach in a classroom of um, high school students and so we said okay sure and so we decided the topic would be online business even though most of them don't have access to the internet they have a computer at their school that they can um, borrow from time to time and so we decided that it would be appropriate to teach them on this subject because even though it's in advance, it's ahead of their time, it's coming. It's coming to them quicker than they know. And we thought that by giving them that heads up, um, they can now prepare because preparation is a big part of success. And so anyways, um, one of the students that was in that class emailed me like maybe a year later. I mean, there was a few people that emailed me. I shared with them my contact information, but he was persistent with emailing me and um, his name's Jackson and yeah he was showing me what that he was so inspired to start a business and he showed me what he's doing in his local community because he f wants to be a leader um, and he's helping uh, this charity with uh, feminine hygiene products and helping to distribute them and educating uh, uh, girls and families and all that. And I just was really impressed with this young man. And um, what's amazing is that he is so persistent to build, create success, you know, and he doesn't have access to nearly um, the resources that you and I have access to. And, and so far he's done more than most people, you know, most people who have all of these resources. He has his own YouTube channel. He's creating motivational content on it. He's, he's helping his community. He's in university now studying medicine. Um, and so he's really taking action and he's not using the fact that his 
family doesn't have money to hold him back. He's not using the fact that um, he, they don't have appropriate housing, they have debts, that they come from this um, little, he doesn't even have access to a bank account, okay? He's not using those things um, as excuses. He's using them to motivate him to get out of poverty, to get out of the position that he's in. So he's a smart young man and I have no doubt that he's going to be very successful in whatever he chooses to do. And so that's why I like to share him with you guys because he inspires me just as much as I inspire him. And um, I'm very proud of him for what he's done. And it just shows that um, we can all do it, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you out, give me a thumbs up or share it with someone else. Um, and yeah, just I'll see you guys on the channel when I see you. I can't promise weekly content or anything, but uh, I'll see you when I see you.